Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pandora. This is Papa Meerkat, and last time we took out Scar and Bonehead. I don't think there's any bosses at the uh, in this play. Uh, let's play. I'll see if I can get to one, but I doubt I will. Ooh, a double anarchy. I like the anarchy. Four thousand dollars. Ooh, I got anything to sell? Ooh, I want that double anarchy. What level am I right now? I'm level ten. That's the. I don't know, man. Oh well, well, we'll try it out. I want a higher level one for for sure. But the double anarchy is awesome, dudes. I got the bone shredder. Oh, it automatically equipped it. Let's put this here. Let's try out that anarchy. All right, guys, we're gonna do some quests. Try to advance the storyline a little bit more. Like I said at the beginning, I don't think there's gonna be any boss fights. But I'll see if I can get to one. Yeah, this uh, double anarchies are awesome. Basically, every shot that you shoot is pretty much two shots at a time. Or four, depending on what it is. This one is a times four. So, 12 times four. It's like a SMG uh, version of a uh, shotgun. Let's see what missions we got right now. Okay, we talked to... What's that guy's name? Shep. Shep Sanders, that's his name. So we could do... Let's do... The, this one right here. Which leads to the same place as uh, Breaking Wind. Alright, Scooter. Yeah, this... It saves your... Uh, preset that you set to your car at like the color and whatnot after you save your game yeah I might uh, when I like off camera I might do a exp you know just leveling up farm I won't uh, do any progression or anything just leveling up because right about now I'm usually around low 15 maybe 13 I'm a little low with what, what I'm usually at and these are the racks he wants you to take out in this mission I don't know if this is the best weapon to use for this let's put down this turret it'll help see that yellow rack right there they drop items like they and the gray ones too like that one I just shot You see those items everywhere. You don't get the bestest of items, but you get something for it. I just leveled up, guys. Just. Oh, there's one of those feeder racks of bloated. They drop ammo, money, and sometimes a gun. Especially the bloated ones. They seem to always drop something like that. Look at this shoddy. Let's see if it's any. Compared to this shoddy, it's worse, but it's worth pretty good amount of money like almost four hundred dollars that's worth it Ooh, a grenade mod well, I don't like bouncing Betty's though this was something I uh, I like in the second game and pre-sequel is that when there's money and ammo on the ground you auto pick it up you don't have to click on each one but it does help if you hold down the square button it allows you to pick up the items like anything you need around your media area okay let's go do this mission right here we just finished the rack mission so therefore we need to switch to breaking wind and we need to turn on all these fans or basically turbines that's what I want to do I just leveled up all right let's see what do I want I like to have this bullet damage I might wait on that. Let's do Scorpio to, uh, Scorpio damage because that's real handy. Uh, 
like I said in the previous episodes, I try to open everything. Because you never know what you're going to find, guys. I, I remember breaking a, a vomit pile from the uh, skags on the ground and get a legendary weapon out of it. It's, it's random. And what makes this game a little different than the other two games, which I love Borderlands 2 and 3, uh, pre-sequel. Not pre-sequel as much, but it's still fun. The, what makes this game different is that the randomness of weapons are a lot more defined. In the other games, yeah, you got random weapons and whatnot, random parts and stuff. But in this one, it seems more random. You can get some crazy gun combinations. These guys are not, okay, these aren't the ones. There's certain ones that look just like these, but they are uh, burning psychos. And yeah, they're pretty much immune to fire damage. So make sure when you're fighting a burning psycho, don't have a fire weapon equipped. Anything else goes though. Corrosive, electricity, explosive damage. All right, double anarchy. Let's see what you can do. These guys are tougher than those of these. Oh, somebody's got a special over here. Now, that's something else I wanted to say about this game is that what makes it different than the other Borderlands games is that when an enemy shoots you with a specific weapon, you'll they usually will drop that specific weapon. And the other games don't do that. You'll see a uh, enemy carry around like a legendary weapon. You kill them and they don't drop it. It's random on how what they drop. There's a burning stuff though. Oh, these guys are kicking my butt. Ooh. Yeah, and if everybody's curious about my upload schedule, I have. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is all my Borderlands Let's Play stuff. And Thursday, Friday, and Saturday I'm going to make Terraria. I had Card Life on Thursday last week just to showcase the game. I think it deserves it. It just needs a lot more updates and some more bug fixes and whatnot. So I'm going to switch it out with uh, Terraria. I have been asked to play more Terraria on my channel. So I'm going to do that. I keep my Sundays open because I have something special planned in the future for Sundays. Ooh, you got stuck back here. But uh, I have something special for Sundays. That's, when I get some money, I'll be able to do it. So that's why I'm leaving it open right now. But I had to show Borderlands. It's, it's an older game for sure. But this game, for me, never gets old. I could continue, just like Trey, I could just continue playing this game for hours. Because you never know what you're going to get, you know? And it's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's worth the money. Okay, those are already on. The other switch I didn't hit. I thought I hit that one yet. Already. Alright. Yeah, I'm much, I, don't, I don't think I'll be making it to a boss fight. And I know which one's next. But I don't think I'm going to get that far just in this episode. So we're just going to explore... Try to earn some items and doing side quests. I'm gonna try to do all side quests in every Borderlands games except for the ones I hate and the ones I hate are anything time limited. I do not like time limit missions, they are the, the worst. So I usually just skip the time limit stuff. There's some time limit stuff in uh, Borderlands, like especially in the second and uh, pre sequel seems to be oriented towards multiplayer or co-op and I, I can't I don't play this game in co-op not unless it's with my wife or my kids or something and I don't think I'll be recording that right now like co-op stuff maybe sometime in the future I was thinking about doing some kind of couch co-op with my family or something and throwing that on my channel Call it like cow, uh, dad, or uh, Papa, Papa Meerkat's Couch Co-op or something, something, something like that. 
but we'll see. My kids are not old enough really to play this game. My wife is, of course. They're still a bit on the minor side, so. My oldest son's only 10 years old, and my youngest is 8, so. They play stuff like Minecraft and Trey and whatnot. We don't allow them to play anything that's, you know, mature or anything that's just not right. Alright, so we got all the fans done. So that mission is done. Let's see what else we got. Yeah. Oh, let's look at that. Look at that. Tough level, level 13. But it's actually not as hard as it says it is, only because it travels everywhere. And I missed three of those journals. One of them's by Firestone. This uh, double anarchy is not too bad. It just needs more damage. I need like a higher level one for sure. I couldn't. I couldn't help buy it though. If I see it in the shop, I'm buying it. If I got the money for it. Because these double anarchies, if you play this game, for sure get this gun if you get a chance because it takes down foes pretty quick. It's good. I remember on my. Uh, PS3, I was playing this game on the PS3 recently, and I got a nice level 15 double anarchy. It was two levels above me, so I had to level up a bit, but that gun carried me so far. And I think I'm still using it in that, that uh, PS3 let's play, even though I'm not recording or anything, it's just... Because I like playing this game outside of recording. I don't need to, it'll just spoil stuff. I just like just to refresh my mind what's coming up next so I, I know what's coming up when I record hmm. should I take out Bonehead again? nah he ain't worth it see so yeah, a uh, Bonehead's weapon that you get the Bone Shredder it does the same thing as a Double Anarchy but the Double Anarchy is always better because it's always times 4 or more this one's times 2, 12 so whoa dude you just came out of nowhere. You just scream at me, man. That's not very helpful for you. Alright, there's a journal in this place. I didn't even stop sprinting. He just stopped sprinting on his own. Alright, see that chest right there? You can, you can loot this chest if you want. Tannis. That's a weird one, old Tannis. Yeah, it looks like I'll be fighting Bonehead Ape after all. Because the other journal's right there. What'd you call me? I ain't no meat puppet. You be a meat puppet. I'll get another bone shredder. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. Uh, excuse me? What? What? Oh, I thought you said something, bro. Ow. This guy still do some damage. They are still my level. Benefactors believe in it enough to waste my considerable talents. 
I've only been here for three hours, and I already believe this planet will be the death of me. Scientists do not chase myths and legends. Yeah, you know, that's that chest. I can't open that chest. Those mission-specific chests, you can't reopen those. I think it would be cool if you could just get the money out of it. Yeah, I got uh, another bone shredder, but it's actually worse than the one I got on me to begin with. Now, before we move on, I'm going to go and sell some of this junk. Because it just fills up your inventory. You have limited inventory space. When you go into certain dungeons and whatnot, you'll have the option, in s most of them actually, to repair a claptrap, a damaged one. And those are, allows you to get more inventory space. 21 times 9. I think mine's better. Okay, so with this stuff. Oh, getting close to almost getting that money back I sold. You got all these, right? Oh. I'll go ahead and get these while I'm at it. Got them all now. Yeah, always before you leave an area, if you play this game, before you leave an area, when you're done with all the missions and stuff, make sure to buy all your ammo, up, ammo upgrades. You don't want to leave something behind, then you'll have less ammo later on. Always make sure to, if you don't have the mo enough money to buy that ammo, a certain man ammo upgrade, then farm the area for enemies and whatnot. They always will drop money most of the time. All right, we're gonna go to the next journal piece. I'm trying to remember where is that next journal. I think it's up here, coming up. There's another quest here inside that building where the fans are. I could have picked this up at first, but I went ahead and went back to get the starting journals. There's a journal here. And loot to pick up, of course. I saved it back. You can go through this door right here or if you want to get the journal and loot, you climb up on the roof. There's a chest here. And the next journal is right here. This is the 76th day. I was woken up, hoping I was having a reoccurring nightmare. We spent more than 36 hours earlier today relocating our campsite closer to our dig site, only to be ambushed by local wildlife that's hungry coming out of hibernation. Half of my staff was eaten alive or killed by skags. I survived by hiding under a colleague of mine who was being devoured on top of me. His name was Carl. My emotions are deadened, and I grieve for none of them. In point of fact, the only emotion I felt was that of joy. I felt joy because his chair was always more comfortable than mine. I took his chair, and then I noticed the emissive glow on the rocks of the dig site. All right, you probably noticed that up there, I got another double anarchy, but it's a little worse than mine. It's got a better fire rate, and it looks like a better accuracy. No, it's the same. Fire rate, but the damage is worse. Crazy, right? And I did. I had this one's 91 damage, not a .9 fire rate. Good accuracy, but I changed it up for this. Which has a little less fire rate, uh, about the same, yeah, a little less. Definitely less damage, but look at that down there. Times 4 fire damage. When you have a times 4, it's the highest rank of elemental chance that you have on weapons. If you have a 1, means maybe 1 out of 10 bullets will cause an elemental damage. The times 4 will have the best chance, so like 1 out of 3 to 1 out of 2 will always do a fire you know, fire explosion that will set enemies on fire. So that's your highest you can get is a times four. See down there at the right hand corner down there? That is the best you can get on the chance or elemental chance. So if you, pick, you see one of those and it's a good level, pick it up. I won't be doing this mission. This does lead to a boss fight. 
but I won't be doing this one right now. Close though. It might be next episode, but if I can get to it in this episode, I might, but I doubt I will. We'll get done as much as we can though. And now that I didn't want to get in the gun. Dude. There we go. I know there's a button that switches seats while you're still in the car, but I can't remember what button that is. I usually don't use it. And I did miss one journal back here. Almost forgot about it. I don't know how I almost forgot about it. It's right back here. I got stuck on an invisible wall right there. You saw that? Not fun, guys. Not fun. Alright. There's another journal up here. There she blows. I sat in the shower in tears for just under an hour. This is interesting considering we haven't had water for days. I equate my ever decreasing sanity with that of the population of my dig site. With the investigation of the symbols and blowing patterns of the site, we finally unearthed arguably certifiable proof of the existence of alien life having been here on Pandora. But this celebration was lonely as I only have two colleagues left. And I'm not too fond of the fat girl, Chimay. I've been told that scientific discovery requires sacrifice, but I never understood what they meant until now. Well, those gags kicked my butt. You see that fire damage, it, it happens more often. Usually, if you have like a times one elemental chance on a weapon, you won't see the element happen all the time. You'll shoot, 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 and it'll all be basic damage. It'll still be fire damage, but it will not set the enemy on fire until you get the explosion. And I have that sniper flip times four. That means my chances are real high. All right, still on this one. This one's easy. You just got to go run over some stuff. Just got to go find stuff to run over. And I think there's some skags around here in the corner. Skaggies. Pop. Pop. Bam. Very difficult mission. The worst. This mission is so hard. I'm almost surviving. I'm barely surviving. Oh, oh. It's more difficult as it goes. In Borderlands 1 is the only game that you can actually do this right here. Run over enemies and kill them in one shot. And Borderlands 2 and pre-sequel. Anything that you try to run over just gets knocked down. They don't. They get hurt but they don't get killed instantly. So I just picked that old gun up. Man. I was trying to pick up the ammo. Oh yeah that's cheap alright. Look at that. Eesh. Gross man. Just here for the monies. Alright. Didn't get any money out of any of that actually. Alright. Let's go get the rest of these journals and there's one journal that's going to be kind of difficult actually. This one. This is a fun cave right here. Especially on the PC. It's really fun but it's difficult of course. It's you can die pretty easily in this cave, but it's a good place to farm EXP. I can tell you right now. Especially the purple worm looking things. I can't remember what they're called. The worms give a lot of EXP. At the level I'm at right now, they'd give a thousand EXP each. So worth. Oh, I got a bunch of skags on me. Man, my shot sucks. Look at that. You see that? Let's use that double energy. Another level up for me. Yeah, yeah. How did I miss that? He was just standing still. Reload speed can be a little better. That's usually the problem in most first person shooter games. Especially in these games. Oh come on man, you can get dropped. Thank you. See that Elder Skag was a 
300 freaking exp man that was awesome Ooh. Hmm. don't usually use assault rifles don't like them too much what am i doing i need to level up all right let's do health again then i'll do ammo for the from the scorpio turret it's worth it that thing can save your butt it'll attack enemies for you and you can sit behind it and get healed and get ammo regeneration on whatever weapon you're holding in your current hand. So if I change weapons, I can refill this and then refill this while it's going. Alright, see what we got for here. Rocket launcher. Hmm. I like to have a good revolver. I like revolvers. With that fire rate though. This is not bad. 1.3, 91, 7, and 90, 94 for 6 rounds. That might be actually worth it. This one has a lot more damage, but that fire red's going to be a downer. I'll go ahead and sell the bone shredder. It's not great right now in this double anarchy. I'll keep this because it has not an element damage on it. There's certain enemies in this game that are protected against elemental damage oh a new nerve uh compares e let's see oh yeah it's a huge upgrade might be worth the buy too and this one has the new uh, sdus ammo upgrades and you notice the significant price jump from six hundred dollars to six thousand so this right here will cost a bunch of money so I'm gonna build up my money after I do this to see if I can get let's get revolver can't even afford now oh man I only got five thousand I don't want that I want to equip that new Merv oh yeah from 10 damage or 11 damage to 28 so much better. Let's sell that real quick. Let's see what they got in here. I need a new shield. Oh, health boost 206. What's mine? Wow, that is such a huge upgrade. About $11,000. Ooh. That's so expensive. Man. Should have looked at that first. Alright. up dude don't want to talk to me okay then what ifs I'm not even level 13 yet so when I do I'll get that revolver I like the revolvers in this game there is revolvers in the second game but and the uh, pre sequel but they're not they don't feel the same I feel like more like a pistol than that for those other games all right this is where another journal bit is but this place can be a lot more tough, as you see, he's level 14. And he's a BA. Yeah, like I said before, I won't cuss, so I'll just call him a BA. I'll try not to cuss. So I'm going to try to make this a friendly channel. If a game cusses, that's the game. That's why I put a rating in the description and in in-game. Or in the recording. What the hell? Why'd you change weapons, dude? Dude, you're getting me killed. Alright, jump. Hide behind these boxes. I don't know why I switched weapons for some reason. Come on, heal me. Yeah, this, this turret's a lifesaver. And you throw a grenade at me. Oh, you know that hurt. oh, I see those revolver rounds. Heck yeah. Lots of revolver rounds. Can't even have a revolver equipped yet. Look at all that. Let's out the shotgun. It's not the best. I do need a new one. Soon. Alright, throw, throw a grenade. Is it gonna hit him? It did nothing. 
Holy jeez. Out of all the enemy, the, uh, the BAs. I think the psychos are the worst. They're relentless. They're not as bad in this game as they are in the second game. They're more relentless in the second game. And they they tend to get staggered more in here than they do in the second game. In the second game, they just keep on coming. And this one, you can hit them, get a headshot, it'll stagger them. And there's something in this place that I always farm for a little while because it always has the chance of giving you high level. Man, I wanted it. Oh. Look like ammo. But there's a. Um, this chest right here always drops high level gear. I've seen level 25 stuff come out of this chest, so it's a good place to farm for a while. I got rocket launcher out there. You can't farm a chest after you in one playthrough. You can't. You have to every time you want to reset the chest, you exit out of the game. You save your game, exit out, and then come back. All the chests will be reclosed. This is a level 19 times four acid chance. Only one rocket. Good fire rate. Good to accuracy too for a, a rocket launcher. Acid uh, or corrosive damage is not as helpful in this game as it is in Borderlands 2. There is armored targets in this game, but later on, it's not such a big thing now. Ow. Oh yeah, it does. Go down, man. Go down. These guys hurt. These come in uh, as a mission later. There's four parts. Just can't collect them now. I don't know if I should go over here. But see that little base right there? There's some high level guys. That, there's three of them that hang out here. And there's two midgets inside. But there's a shop in there. And another chest that has a chance of giving you high level gear. I got in level 25s out there. And I think I even purples. I don't think I got a legendary on there, but purples I got there. So. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Pay attention to my, my turret. I need my health back. These guys are tough, dude. They are. Seems like I can't do that much damage. $200. Oh, Jesus, a burning. Shotgun, do short work on them, I'll tell you that. What'd you call me? That's just rude. That's why he hurt. He has a special SMG. And you gotta be careful right here. You always get attacked by racks. And here they come, right here. Oh, jeez. And these can drop you down a lot faster. The racks in this in this game are a lot more dangerous than they are in the first game, second game. I'm gonna say the first game. I am playing the first game. But yeah, the Rex in the second game are a joke. In this game, they are quite dangerous. Yeah, I started recently. I started playing some more pre sequel because that's the only game I haven't played as much as the rest. So I started a PS4 playthrough of uh, pre sequel so I can remember. right away and begged me to put her out of her misery as she choked on various fluids and bile. 
I hesitated because she was the last one alive, but it wasn't me. As she was choking and coughing and dying, I tried to enjoy the interaction, which I imagined to be a conversation, as I knew it was the last I would have for a while. I finally got around to smothering her so that I could continue my research. I could tell that she regretted the decision. The Skags have been waiting for this meal for a while. They will not go hungry tonight. Alright. Yeah, they, um... Always gotta keep going through all these Tannis records. Oh, jeez, he's level 15. That guy's not gonna be too fun. And he's level 15, too. Yeah, a little bit. These guys are dangerous. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. He shot through that little crack on that wall. Nope. Ain't gonna do it, dudes. Ah, chest. Chest. These guys are tough. Yeah, their shields recharge pretty quick too. So if you sit too long hiding. Oh jeez, I'm gonna get dropped. This is the place I was talking about. As of course you see that the enemies are quite tough. But down here you get two more enemies that come out. And they're about the same level, so. Got him. You better be quiet up there, dude. And there's a chest and a shop. Oh, it looks like hand cannons on here. Man, that's not that great for level 13. Worth the money, though. Oh, a primal masher. Now these are kind of like this double anarchy. This right here is basically the same thing. It's a uh, shotgun equivalent of a a revolver. Look at this. Worth a lot of money for only sixty-five damage. That's some weird about that. Level sixteen incendiary. That's a little uh, times two. Rocky launcher and yeah, nothing too great in here all right I'll sell this ruthless SMG I'll keep the problem master because that thing is awesome uh, yeah that's the one I bought one yes it is I'll keep both of those and sell sniper yes all this other stuff can go yeah, I'm not. I've never really been a big fan of the assault rifles in any of the Borderlands games, so I usually don't use them. Ah, look at that! My health just gets wiped. Now, these guys are worth a good EXP, though. Haha! <laughs> set you on fire. No, I guess I didn't. Fail. Got him. And he dropped a almost $600 contact worth of money. The only grenades I usually use is uh, Mervs and the dang the health the health ones. I can't remember the name of them. They give you health. They shoot a bunch of little homing white things. I don't even know what they would call them. I'll chase enemies down and sap health out of them and they give it back to you. Alright, I got a lot of stuff to turn in. I can probably start this pretty soon, but I think I not, might need to level up a little bit more because you see that's level 14. Means there'll be level 15 enemies in there. So it's probably a good idea that before I move on, let's try to jump some levels. 
first, I need to grab a car and turn in this mission missions and see what I get. And uh, right here, you'll see this car port. But right there is the Lost Cave. That is where that mission for the Shot Crystal Harvest is. It's a good place to be if you want to level up. I'm level thir uh, 12. I might be able to do this. We'll try to take out some of the worms or something. We'll see. This place is tough. But this is a good place to farm EXP for a while. At the beginning. Man, I need a new shield. My shield is weak, sauce. Level 13. I'm so close to that level. 149, 164, 22, 28. It's not too far. This one. Fire resistance? I don't think there's any fire in here. I might get this one. It's a lower on the recharge rate, but it has a higher capacity. Yeah, let's get this one. So I'm ready for it when the time comes. Now here we go. See these guys right here? These are the worms I was talking about. Uh, I need to level up so I can use this stuff. But I'm going to go to a non-element sniper rifle. You shoot them in the eye, it does massive damage. Look at that, almost dead much. Primal Masher. I need it. But these guys do a lot of damage. But look at that EXP though, guys. Off these worms right here, I'll level up. It seems. Oh. You have to get close if you're using this uh, SMG. I'm out of ammo. What the heck? How am I out of ammo? Got him. Man, I barely have any ammo at this rate, then. We're not just on the first enemy. I'm gonna drop an ammo though. Yeah, it's probably best to buy some ammo real quick. It's holy dirt. Holy dirt. Whatever a dirt is. Alright. Uh, let's buy some ammo for sure. I feel like I'm being chased right now. Yes. I doubt I'll be able to get anywhere in this place because, as you see, it's pretty bad. And it takes all my money, but I need it. Actually, I think that if you... Okay, it does. I was like, if you buy an upgrade, I don't think it gives you... Fill up your ammo for you. So if you come here early like I am right now to do some EXP farming, be real careful. Just slowly, slowly make your way through. See, these are the shot crystals you need to collect. And best thing to hit them with is the uh, a shotgun. Breaks all the crystals at once instead of waiting around. Hey you. The shotgun needs an upgrade. It's not doing as much damage as it should. Go to double anarchy. Let's do it this way. There's a level up. These guys are dangerous. There's an enemy in here that I do not like. And that is the worst part of this cave. And there's some just around that corner. The ones that, the thing I hate the most in this game so far. But like I said at the first episode, I never beat this game. So I don't know if there's anything that's even worse than those. But there's... I'll show you what it is in just a moment after I get this worm taken care of. 
Yeah, Emma. Where'd you go, dude? La what does it say? Larva? Crab worm. Hey, you. Ha! Got him. I tripped him and saying, Hey, man, turn around. I got something for you. Alright. Now, you'll see around this corner over here. Those are the... I hate these. The Alpha Skags. They are so bad. Because they're the armor plating on their head there, it takes all damage. You just can't hurt them things at all. Fire damage is your best bet when it comes to these. Or shooting them in the butt. It doesn't do as much damage, but it does something. Ow, 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 no, 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 and no. No, no. I should have left them alone. These guys are awful. I hate I don't think that a grenade did anything, to be honest with you. Yeah, play with your gun for a while while I'm sitting here dying. Makes sense. Yeah, that's a death. Takes four hours to reload your weapon. Alright. Yeah, those guys ain't worth anything. They are all. Alright. Do ammo. I did health last time. But the, yeah, those skags are just the worst. They shouldn't have made them extremely armored. They're just like beyond extreme. Oh gosh, get away from me. While I'm at it, I'll go ahead and collect these crystals. Why not? Alright, let's move on. Let's leave those skags alone. There's another place at the end of this cave that's just full of those alpha skags. It's just nothing but to... Hopefully I level up enough to get... You know, actually, I'm level 13, guys. Let's try the uh, the masher. Let's put that where the shotgun is. It has definitely, definitely a lot more damage. Well, maybe not. I think the shotgun has more damage. Yeah. But these things are fun. Come on, give me ammo, man. I need the ammo. That says to get stepped on that. I got stuck on this. Look at that. How does that work? There's another chest up on this hill. Bunch of skags up there and skags down there. There's a seal down there. Oh, a white shotgun. E. Might be. No, it ain't actually. Take a need. What really do? Oh, sorry about that. Oh, you see what I just got, guys? You see what? Got a triple on him. Have that. I'm stuck on something. Oh. I can't move. I can't even fire. What is going on? I'm stuck. I can't even do anything. What is going on? Am I typing or something? Yeah, I was typing. I don't know how I started typing. Must hit the wrong key. That was derpy. Oh, these are dangerous. Got him. See that crit hit? When they open their mouth, you make sure to shoot right in their mouth. This sounds bad. Right, ammo, please. I gotta figure out what key makes you type. So anyway, I think I was typing there. What key was it? T? Yeah, it was T. I said exit, man. 
I don't know how I hit T, but I, apparently I did. That guy right there, it's a clap trap. You get the repair kit for him and you get more carry capacity. I think it's three slots for every clap trap helped. Waiting for my gun to recharge while I'm looking around. Yeah, I didn't get anything good out of that chest. Usually that's one of my better chests to find. Uh, anything over here? Ammo goodies is appreciated. Same as a like and a subscribe. That's appreciated. Hint, hint, nod, nod. <laughs> so subtle, right? So subtle. Come on, bro. You can do it. Yeah. Right, this place is tough. 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 Oh gosh, you see what that? I just got a alpha star. The worst. You. You best hard. Nope, 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 nope. Get rid of the little ones, get rid of the little ones. That sounds really bad. Jump, jump, jump. Hop and jump. Get away. Hey, you. Revive me. I need a revival. Looks like this video is going to be carrying on for a little while longer. Oh, yeah, I got two of them. Plus the little one. This ain't good. This ain't good. Should have kept him alive. Yep, told you I should have kept him alive. Oh, oh, oh. No. No. I sense another death in me future. Because these guys are awful. What I tell you about those Alpha Skags, they are the worst. And it's gonna land just next to him and won't do nothing. Yay! The best. Just wasting grenades because they run away from me every time. And I got stuck. Well, that sucks. I shoot myself out. Now I'm typing again. How am I hitting T over and over again? Seriously, guys. I'm not even near T, and yet I keep hitting it. I think some, something's afoot. <laughs> Is that your buddy? I'm sorry. You hit him in the mouth right when they're jumping. And I get stuck in a bunch of junk. Why did that not get a critical? One hit and I'm almost dead. These guys are awful. I understand they need to put something in the game that's challenging. But that's just ridiculous. These things are the worst. I want that chest, I want those shot crystals, and quit knocking out my shields in one hit. Man. Actually, why didn't I not equip that, guys? I must be a derf. Look at this. Yep, I'm a, I'm a doofus. For sure a doofus. I've been running around with a lo uh, 66 capacity shield this whole time. Dying unnecessarily. Unnecessarily, if I can speak. It's still going to drop my shield really fast, but I'm going to survive a little bit longer. Because if your shield gets dropped and whatever extra damage that happened to you, it goes to your health. So if they did 100 damage and you had 60, you'll get 40 damage on your health. So if that makes any sense. Or something similar to that effect. Here. Please take that. It's a Christmas present. It may not be Christmas yet, but it is a present. What the? Just being thrown around. I thought I killed all the little ones here. Why did they just keep coming? And you're still alive. Hey, you ain't. 
Look at that. Barely any damage. Got him. Ooh. Those guys are too darn tough. Well, this one's almost an hour long video. Man. Seems like you barely get anything done, then you have to end again. That's how I feel about Treya. It's like I just want to keep playing it. Same as this game. When I start, I just don't want to stop. Alright, we'll open up this chest and we'll call it there. Ooh, looks like hand cannons. Alright, we got a repeater. Worth money. I usually don't use repeaters except at the beginning of the game. Alright, uh, 85, 83, 9, and 1.56. Hmm. Mm hmm. A times three electric repeater. The electricity works for guys that have the shield, means they have the red bar and the blue bar, like I have in the left bottom corner of the screen. If you have enemies that have the same thing, and electricity will break their shields quickly. So that could be handy. Ooh. Oh, I got a new hand cannon. Alright, guys. I'm going to leave it off there. And we're going to continue through this cave. And hopefully get some more levels up. And finish that mission. Even though it's a hard mission. I've done this before at level 10. But I'm a lot slower at it. Because I take, take my time and not die so often. Alright, guys. If you uh, would like to support my channel and help my family out. Uh, subscribe. And if you like this content that I'm showing here, and you think I'm a good commentator or whatever, uh, hit that like button, and don't forget about that notification bell to keep up with my latest videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.